YouTube, we're back, man. Another cooking video today. We're gonna be just be making some simple tacos, burritos, ground beef, no asada, no chicken. Simple, simple, simple. You'll be able to follow along. If you're hungry, let's get to cooking. All right, so Jana's bringing home some tortillas and some refried beans, but all you need is some ground beef. We like to get the grass-fed stuff if you can find it. Um, organic grass-fed is, is our favorite. We got some tomatoes, we got onion, avocado, lettuce, and then the spices. We're gonna go ground paprika, we got crushed red pepper, we got chili powder, we got cayenne pepper, cumin, black pepper, salt. Super easy, super basic, nothing too crazy, but it's gonna be delicious. Let's get the cast iron warmed up because we're gonna get this ground beef started before Jenna gets back with the tortillas and everything because that's just heating up. We're not making the tortillas from scratch, but in a future video we will be because I think, I think I wanna remake the crunch wrap Supreme in the next video. I think that's what we're gonna do. But let's get this ground beef cooking. Cast iron, you know it's the way to go. Let's rock. Electric stoves. Mid. This is uh, two pounds of ground beef. I only need about a pound of it, so I'm gonna put half in a little Ziploc. Save it for later. Pound of ground beef, that's all you need. You can either toss this in the fridge or uh, in the freezer. We're gonna season this and then we're gonna go ahead and put everything in the cast iron. Cast iron's warming up though, so let's get this into a bowl and start mixing this around. All right, so we got a little bowl. We're gonna go ground beef in there. How much seasoning is up to you? You can always, you know, add more in, but don't be don't be scampy on the seasonings, you know? You wanna have some bland ground beef. That's the last thing you want. It's the star of the show right here. It's the star of the show. So let's get it in here and start mixing. Ground beef, bloop. Now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, put some seasonings in this and then just mix it on up. Ground paprika. Got some chili flakes. This really depends how spicy you want to get things. Also, remember you're adding two other spicy things in here. A noche chili powder. Again, okay, we can always add more once we start mixing. We got the ground organic cumin. Trying to get some on the bottom too. The cayenne pepper. Oh, I hear Jana getting him. Here comes Tadao. Salt. And pepper. is already gonna smell so good I can tell. The spices are gonna be hitting, baby. All right, let's make sure it's mixed very well together. All right, it's mixed up pretty well. Looks very well seasoned. We're gonna go ahead and get that on the cast iron. Janet just got back with some tortillas. And some refried beans, baby. So this is a super easy recipe. Once you season the meat and get the meat rocking on the cast iron, um, you're basically just chopping up some lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and then uh, yeah, heating up some tortillas. This is super, super simple. You can't mess this up. You can do this. You can make these tacos, these burritos. I guess these are burritos. What makes it a burrito? I'm not sure. What makes it a burrito? Is it the size of the tortilla? Is it the ingredients? I don't know. These might be burritos. They might not be tacos, but... They're delicious, you can make them. They're super easy to do. If you were able to recreate this recipe, let me know in the comments below and uh, maybe we can share some tacos or some burrito recipes. Let's go. All right, let's get this ground beef going, baby. Sizzle. Let it out as thin, let that char have the And then we'll break it up. I need to take like a knife skills class. Is there like an online one that I can take? Does anybody know? If you do know, drop it in the comments. Because everything that I am doing, it's all just like stuff I've seen online, and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Like, I sliced it in half once, and then I slid it like this, because I've seen people online do that. And then it, it usually gives me pretty, pretty decent sized little diced onions. I wouldn't call that a complete failure. I mean, that's not bad. It's a little chunky on some spots, but that's not terrible. We'll take that. I'll dice it up a little bit more, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. And then I also saw like a TikTok video where if you don't cut the eye, I think that's what they were calling this, the eye of the onion, you don't cry. And I didn't cry at all when I did it this time, so maybe, maybe it's true. Don't cut this part. I don't know. I think I'm not crying. I ain't got no tears. Let's check this meat. Ooh, baby. 
We gotta cut the tomatoes. We got the onions cut up. We gotta cut up the lettuce. We gotta wash the lettuce, actually. Heat this up. Heat the beans up. Let's do it. We're just gonna break this up now and get it to it more of a, a ground beef that we uh, that we can use in the tacos. So we don't have just giant chunks like that. I don't mind the giant chunk in it, but I know Janet doesn't want it in there. I also threw a couple of onions too um, that just didn't fit in my little onion container. This smells delicious, baby. All right, let's dice up some, uh, some tomatoes. I don't really have a tomato cutting technique. I know this is not it, though. Green fried beans, super easy. Can. Hot, heat them up. If you mess these up, shit, you're struggling. <laughs> little taste test just to see if we need any other seasonings. Mm, the spice is there. Definitely needs a little bit more salt though. 100% needs a little bit more. The spices are hitting. We're rocking, man. Damn, that spice is, it's building too. Yeah, it's got a really good kick to it. All right, um, tortillas, beans are heating up. All we gotta do is the lettuce now. Let's wash it and uh, just get that cut up. Make sure to always wash your lettuce. Don't just take it out, even if it says pre-washed. I mean, wash the lettuce, wash it. We got one of these like a uh, salad lettuce washer things. So these are amazing. It dries, it, dries it, washes it, all that shit. All you gotta do is just rinse off your lettuce, right? Now you're like, damn, I gotta dry it. Well, not anymore, dude. You just throw it in here and you let it spin. Locked in. Make sure to remove the water from it. See all the water just gets expelled onto the outside. Look at that. Crazy. You pop the lid off and bam. Perfect. It's not soaking wet. Let's go. Alright, let's chop this lettuce. I don't really have a lettuce chopping technique either, but I'm gonna learn all this stuff. Maybe go once this way. That works. I'm mad at that. Easy peasy, man. Tomatoes, onions, lettuce, avocado for Jana when she's ready to eat. Tahini, you gotta have it. A little lemon, you could do lime as well. And then all you gotta do really is add beans, meat. I mean, it's just as simple as it gets. I don't think it gets much simpler. The only thing simpler is this right here. Appreciate you guys always watching, man. The food content, dude. We're really gonna focus on that. We're gonna double down on it. I love cooking. I love it. Love fast food too. So the fast food challenge, you know, where we remade the Big Mac. We got a Big Mac, we remade it. I think that's gonna be a little series here. Um, I said it a little bit earlier in this video, the Crunch Wrap Supreme. It's something I really like. Can we make it better at home? We're gonna go completely from scratch, right? I'm gonna even make the tortillas. I got a tortilla recipe. <coughs> so um, maybe not the next vlog, but the next cooking experience, we're gonna do some Crunch Wrap Supremes. I'm excited. Let's get these burritos together and let's eat. And then uh, it's almost two o'clock. Our new live stream times. We're streaming every day from 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to about five, six o'clock Pacific Standard Time. No more morning streams. Sometimes every now and then we'll pop in for a late stream and then you know, just smoke some hash and whatnot. Sorry, I was getting sick of holding the camera. It was just, it's like ridiculously heavy. But yeah, the live streams, we're gonna do it every day still. Two to six roughly is the, is the time slot. Maybe two to five sometimes. I like the new times. The mornings I've been working out. I'm day three working out. Day three. Um, back on the sauna push. I use the sauna usually three to four times a week, but now I'm trying to I'm trying to go every day. And then I'm gonna figure out some uh, some cold exposure stuff too. Yeah, man, it's a new year, it's a new me. Let's keep rocking, y'all. Let's make these burritos. Cheers. Maybe I had to eat them up in my oven because I got this damn electric stove. So uh, how do you how do you heat up your tortillas if you have an electric stove? What, what what's the technique here? Do you do it in a pan? Do, what do you do? What do you do with it? It's annoying. It's annoying. Biggest pet peeve on the electric stove is I can't can't heat these up. Can't do it. Let's make a burrito. Now we're going beans. Ground beef. Extremely well seasoned. Love that. And we're going to go ahead and head on over to the other stiff. It's like we're at Chipotle right here. Now we're going to go some onions. Go some tomato. Go a little lemon. 
little tahini. Oh, just a little salsa. We're vibing, man. Ooh, let's eat, guys. My tortilla started to crack on me a little bit, but that's a nice burrito, baby. It's a little thick. I found some salsa. Well, kind of. Cilantro lime taco sauce. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. So easy. This recipe is super simple, guys. It's affordable. It takes, I mean, minutes. I made this in, what, 10 minutes? Delicious. Make some tacos. Make a burrito. Skip Chipotle this week. Let's play some games. All right, let's get the stream started, BB. What is the title of the stream? I just want to type hash smoke. Yeah, buddy. All right, we just ended a little live stream. We got third place a couple times in the ranked Apex games. Um, couldn't pull off the victory, but you know, it's always a fun time. We play with Hash uh, today and then like some random people, but it was a good time. It was good games. If you want to check out the streams, you know what to do. The links, descriptions, all that stuff. Let's go walk the dog, hang out with Jana. Yeah, let's chill. Yeah, we're getting to walk to Dow. I need to change into some pants or something and not <laughs> so much. Yeah, you want to tell me? Open the damn door. <laughs> all right, let's change. All right, we just applied for Jana to be partnered on YouTube. Let's go. Big thank you to everybody that watches her content as well. If you don't know, my wife makes uh, art content, vlog style content. She's the featured channel on this channel. So if you just go to the homepage here, you'll be able to see her channel and find it. I just got out the shower. It's time to get dressed and start this day. Today, we're back at Pine Park, baby. It's one of my favorite days of the week when we get to go film on um, Pine Park. If you don't know, we have a podcast, Pine Park After Dark. Me and my boy, Eric Kahn, we are the co-hosts of it. Big shout out to Hex and Josefo. But um, today, it's a, it's a banger episode, man, because we got like our third unofficial official co-host, Goblin. He's going to be back. So Goblin, Eric, myself, today, Pine Park, let's sesh.